Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Mike with Sunny Slope Homestead. Today, we're gonna see what this little uh, Kubota BX2380 has as far as pulling power. Because I got a comment the other day that said, uh, you should have got a big tractor. When that little tractor has to do real work, it's gonna break on you. Well, let's go check out what real work is. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, I'll link it up top here. But basically we chopped down a big giant tree and I didn't I didn't get the main trunk part cut up mainly because it was in this ditch right here. So you can see I dropped the tree behind me. It fell down down into this little ravine area. So we're on a downward slope it starts coming up and elevating out and then leveling off right here and then we gotta pull it past where do you think you're gonna put a tree that big bend over and i'll show you i'm gonna use my tractor my little bitty lawnmower tractor to pull this big big trunk out now i'm gonna estimate that this trunk is probably i don't know 24 inches round maybe more maybe less give or take and that's ash wood so i can guarantee you she's got some weight to her and it's going to take everything that tractor has maybe pull it out or it might just pull it out really easily i don't know but i figure what a perfect opportunity to show people out there that you don't need a whole lot of tractor to get done what you need to get done around your homestead or farm or hobby farm or whatever you may have the fact of the matter is you buy the piece of equipment that suits your needs you don't go out there and buy the biggest, baddest tractor that you could possibly afford if you don't have that much work for it to do. You're basically wasting your money. And don't go buy a small tractor if you need to go do big, large jobs, because you're right, you will break this tractor. It's all about pushing your equipment to its limits, but not pushing it so fast past its limits that it's gonna break. Everything has a breaking point. This tractor has one too, but I know where it's at. I bought it for what I needed it for. I don't need to do big jobs. But every once in a while, I have a big job. And we're gonna see if this little BX2380 has what it takes. My biggest concern that I think might stop this tractor is the fact that, that might go and dig it in the ground. But I'm gonna try to put some logs on it so it'll roll up. So we're gonna get this bad boy here. And we're gonna stick it down below. So it's gonna bring the back end of this trunk up. Now, I probably should have a clevis hook. Sorry for the wind. I probably should have a clevis hook, but I don't have a clevis hook right now. So we're just gonna use what we got. So I'm gonna start off from four low. I don't wanna ruin the tractor by putting it in high gear. We want torque right off the bat. We don't wanna play around and we don't want to risk damaging the tractor because, like I say, it's all about pushing your equipment to the limits, but not past the limits. So we're going to stay in four low and see what we can do. Richard. Well, that was a failure. That's a big failure. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And trust me, I've said in my past videos, if this tractor's not going to do something, or if it's something I don't like about this tractor, I'm going to let you know. That first pull, dead ground, that nose dug into the dirt, that tractor ain't going to do it. Now, I might have to get a little closer to this to get a little bit more leverage, which uh, may be the case, and or... I gotta get that out of the ground so I'm not trying to trench my way up this thing. So let's reset and give it another try.
can't do this anymore, man. My head's about to explode. Yep, it's time to jack this log up in the air. Woo, this is heavy. This is a three ton jack. Oh man, that trunk is no punk. That was a three ton jack and it was pretty heavy. Let's try this again. I'm not, I'm not giving up yet. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. Oh boy, so what's hanging this up guys? I got a knot that's digging in the bottom of this hill as it's trying to pull up. So I wedged some rollers underneath there, some rotten logs. Well, they're still solid a little bit with hopes I can keep that knot out of the ground. So I'm not getting a whole lot of traction in this mud that I'm working in because it is kind of, it's kind of wet dirt guys. It's mud, that's what it is. But I'm not getting a whole lot of traction. Then again, I don't have a whole lot of weight. So we're gonna try this again. Maybe we can get this log coming. What do you what do you guys think? Think it's gonna happen or not? That was awesome. <laughs> so pulling that out, needless to say, was a little bit of a challenge. Tractor didn't have enough traction to do it. Pulling power, yes, I think it had enough pulling power. Uh, traction is mud, not gonna happen. So we used these logs here, rolled it Egyptian style. And we pushed that bad boy, or we pulled that ba bad boy all the way there. My biggest fear, was nose diving it. But I was still able to pull it with it dragging in the dirt. If that gives you any kind of indication of how much torque this thing has once you get her rolling and she's got some traction. She's gonna get some big jobs done, but not all of them. I think I really pushed the limits of this tractor today. I uh, hope that gives a little bit of insight of what these little things are capable of. And, uh, make a few of you folks out there realize that these things do have a place on my property and in the industry they do serve a purpose they're a lot stouter than people think they are and they do have a place in the market so hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to get to cutting up this log now that i got it out of that ditch and i hope you guys stick around because if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button because uh i do a lot of videos on this tractor and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. If it's not gonna work out, or if there's something on this tractor I don't like, you better believe I'm gonna tell you and let you know. So, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next episode.